is actually, so, I mean, it's treated as different type of income. So you'll see here, I've just flipped over to one of the K-1s. Mm -hmm. You'll see in a normal business, most of that income would be here under ordinary business income or losses. Right. Um, right here on this, it's being passed through on the net rental real estate income. So it's subject to, just like the Schedule E on the 1040, um, these losses are subject to potentially loss limitations um, for active for real estate investors. Um, depends if they were active, if they're real estate professionals, what their income was, what their loss was, as to what they can recognize. Right. Um, you know, if it's ordinary Joe off the street has over 150,000 in income. Um, you know, and his rental loss are typically going to be limited, if not completely limited, limited and suspended. Um, you know, otherwise it may be limited to a twenty-five thousand dollar max. But if they're an active real estate professional, um, you know, and spend time in their primary activities doing real estate, then they may not be subject to those losses and may get the tax benefit of those losses in the current year, subject to, um, you know, whether they have basis in the, um, the partnership itself. So. Yeah, so, so essentially, guys, remember that everything with these flow-through tax returns, um, whether it's a 1065, 1120 S, is, is being passed through to the personal return. So if I'm sitting here and I'm Peter Canning and I'm making you know, $300,000 uh, in my main business as a real estate broker, that $86,000 loss, right, if it's going to be a minus sign against my 300000 of other income, is a humongous uh, tax deduction, a humongous benefit. Um, if, if, I, if it's under in box one on the K-1, an ordinary business income, I have a much sort of, would you say, Adam, like more direct way to be able to deduct that? Um, you know, but if it's in rental real estate and if it's in that box too, there's all those other rules that I have to be a real estate professional or, you know, what's my income, what kind of limitations. So um, it, it's important to note that it's a different type of income and how that can affect a personal return. Yep. Yeah. 